Right, hello and welcome back to the shed. So, uh, part three of the Triumph Bonneville, uh, the America transplant into a Bonneville, whatever. Sloan decided quite how to phrase this properly. But, regardless, part three. Um, so, so far we've uh, got the frame, I've chopped that down a little bit, um, put a hoop in. Um, since then I've also been ordering a few bits and bobs now I've got I'm actually filming these about a couple of weeks ahead of when I put them out um, so yeah trying to get the timelines all correct so you'll be seeing these a little bit later than when I've actually real time done them um, but in order to get ahead um, so I've, I've decided the next stage I want to kind of do now is get the have a look at the stance of the bike um, I'd got my mag wheel, rear wheel for it um, and that came with the sprocket carrier and a rear disc um, because obviously the America wheel will not fit into a Bonneville swing arm and a America swing arm will not fit into a Bonneville frame so yeah so I scored one of those quite cheaply so that's where I'm going to start uh, the video today is um, it's it's in good condition, but it is just it's just a little bit dirty and a little bit um, you know it's had some some use on it. So I want to clean it all down. So I do want that whole wheel to be black, um, and it's kind of a bit of a two tone like the rims and at the edges of the spokes are kind of just aluminium. So I'm going to clean all that up. I'm going to spray that one black. I'm not going to powder coat it because um, the bearings are all perfectly fine and good and I don't want to go through the hassle of knocking all those out. I think still humming and hawing, but I think I am still going to powder coat the frame, but that's probably the only thing that's going to get powder coated. Um, spraying up wise, I think it's just going to be this wheel and if I end up using the Triumph America yokes, they'll probably get sprayed up. don't think they'll get powder coated. But anyway, this all stuff will work on as we get to it. Um, so yeah, so wheel, that's the main thing. I've ordered a tyre. Um, we shall see. I'm going to film this video in snippets. I'm kind of grabbing bits in the evening and when I can um, because I usually do the filming at the weekend and I know the weekend that I've got coming up is a bit busy. So I'm trying to get the bits in before then, not relying on just having the weekend to do it. Um, so I'm hoping the wheel, uh, tyre tire will have arrived uh, by then. Um, I doubt the wheel, if I've got it sprayed up by then, will have cured for me to be comfortable with mauling it around trying to get a tyre on. We'll see. It might have done. Let me think. Yeah, two, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes um, if the, when the tyre comes and when the paint cures. Uh, oh, probably waffling now. Um, so yeah, let me just shut up and um, we will crack on with the wheel. So I've uh, got the mag wheel here uh, with a sprocket carrier, sprocket cush drive, it's got the brake disc so I need to get the disc off. I'm um, going to get that sprocket off, uh, my channel sprocket's pretty good so I'll, I'm going to keep that as a set so I'm going to put my obviously my rear sprocket back on here but this is uh, pretty oily, that needs a nice clean up, um, that's a grey sprocket carrier but I want it black, um, the wheel's going to go completely black, uh, it's like the hub and most of it is black but um, I want it all solid black, uh, yeah so just dismantle and um, clean right <coughs> see what we're going to start with I think I'll start with the disc because I can put the wheel down try and get the disc off and then when the disc is off flip it over put the sprocket carry in there and having it in the wheel might give me a little bit more purchase so these are torques I think that's a T30, that T40,
cool beans. Okay, so nothing but just cleaning up now. Uh, just going to get some WD-40 and some rags. Um, got a bit of um, IPA as well. Uh, not the beer, but I'll clean all that ready for spraying. Um, I don't think I'm going to film that. I mean, literally, I'll probably get a uh, Scotch Bright on here as well and just just key the surface a little bit. But yeah, just give it all a good clean and degrease ready for spraying up. Um, and I'm also going to put the heater on because it's a little bit chilly in here this morning. Um, and uh, I want to get the temperature up for the paint. So I'll probably set it up when I'm spraying. Okay, so sprocket carrier, first one done. Nice and clean and spanky. Um, it's lovely as the finish is on that. I do think it needs to go black, so we'll probably give that a light scuff, clean it off again and go black. But let's get the wheel sorted out as well. This is where it all gets a little bit arts and crafts. So um, I'm going to spray up the dog bones because um, I've just measured them against the America and they'll fit on that. So it doesn't matter. I'll probably use them on either the T100 yokes or the America yokes. <coughs> um, whichever set of yokes get used, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this. So as I said, I wanted it to go black, but I was going to try and keep the uh, Triumph writing silver. On the other ones I'd done, I'd... Um, done the triumph right in black kept him silver which is pretty easy you can just blast a bit of paint over and then clean the paint off um, and that leaves it in there but this one I need to do the reverse so what I've, I was looking I was just going to get something like blue tack or maybe plasticine would have been better just to fill in the, uh, the where the letters are clean it all off and get this effect spray it and then pick that out um, we haven't got any plasticine or blue tack in the house. Um, I then thought, oh, maybe Vaseline. But then I thought, if that, if it gets warm or something, because I quite like blasting it over with a heat gun just to get the curing process going, that's going to bleed out and probably mess up. So I need something that's a bit more gloopy. Uh, obviously, I don't want to use filler or anything like that. Um, I thought about silicon, but I haven't really got. I don't think we've got any silicon at the moment. I'm just looking round. Uh, but anyway, so what I did was um, went a bit Martha Stewart and um, that kind of, I'm sure I saw an old YouTube video, one of them hack things where you can make um, like slime or, um, I mean, they use it for like getting the dust off 
keyboards and all, you know, just like a blob of stuff. And I couldn't quite remember what the ingredients were, so I just got some fairy liquid and a little bit of corn flour, mixed it together, and it made this kind of like this gloopy kind of stuff, which is very water dissolvable, so it'll be easy to get out. Um, and it just filled in nicely. I could just wipe it over with a bit of kitchen paper, and that's filled the letters in. Um, so I'll just spray over the top of that. And then when it's all cured and dried, just wash it off, and we should hopefully be left with a nice black set of risers with um, Triumph in a nice silver underneath. We'll see. Right then, that's the risers done. So hopefully that'll have worked out okay. Just let that dry now, and um, yeah, see if I can pick that off. Well, I'm going to be leaving these bits drying now. Um, so it's the wheel, sprocket carrier, uh, the risers. They're drying. Uh, in the meantime, as well, uh, tyre came. So this is the tyre that's going to go on it. Um, that is uh, a what did I go for on the end? It's a Maxxis uh, Traxxer. Um, so this is, well, the reason I went through, I wasn't really sure what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted something tall. Uh, the stock is a 130, uh, 130, 80, 17, I want to say, or 130, 70, 17, uh, one of the two. You can get a 150 on those rims, apparently. I've never done it. Um, but in looking around this particular one, um, kind of had like that, uh, was it the Avon Distanzia kind of type tread pattern, uh, or the, um, oh, what are they, the Hyde, oh, I can't even say it, the Hyde Do, you know, what the K60 Scout, however you say that brand of tie name, I can't ever remember. Um, but this was 50 quid delivered. I had a promotional thing on eBay, I mean, it was 50. Reduced down to 59 quid, uh, and then it was, yeah, 50 quid delivered. Uh, so that kind of made the decision for me. Um, and this is uh, 140, uh, 140, 80, I believe. Yeah, 140, 80, 17. Um, so not hugely beef, but um, I think that'll look quite nice. Um, hopefully it's all going to fit and uh, we'll have enough clearance with the shorter shocks. We shall see, but um, yeah, that's come in. And uh, swing arm bolt, so yeah, <clears throat> this was off a, so the, I think this was a Daytona 650, the Daytona 650, 600, uh, Speed 4, TT 600, Bonneville, Scrambler and Thruxton all share the same swing arm spindle part. Um, and as you can see, compared to the one that came with it, which I had my suspicions was a not stock part. Um, yeah, definitely not. Uh, lengths are different. Um, this is just mild steel. Don't know why that's come off. That was just with it. Um, that's just a handy thing for me to have knocking around the tool shed. So I'm pleased. I spent the eight quid and got this uh, with the, all the nuts and washers. Um, got the outriggers on there now, uh, all my spaces in place, so that's cool. Um, so I just need to be patient, wait for that uh, to dry, get the tyre on it without scratching anything, ha ha ha. Uh, and then I would like to um, probably get the frame, uh, the swing arm, the rear wheel, all kind of mocked up together just to get a little look-see. And um, that'll be the next stage, I think. I think we'll wrap this video up with... Uh, I'm going to see if my little uh, 
corn flour and um, what was it washing up liquid thing had worked um, so this is pretty much it's not fully cured but it's something it's touch dry now I've given them a fair few coats and I'm happy with that finish so let's see if we can get this out I'm gonna just start by um, probably just get you see a cocktail stick and uh, see what happens There we go. Uh, still a little bit of cleaning up I need to do just with the uh, scalp around the edges, but by and large, I think that that worked. I'm happy enough with it. Call that one done, and a uh, little success with the uh, homemade slime. <laughs>